what do you Welcome back to Follow Me's again. So I'm Peter. So and right now, today we are at the Pang Rock District. This area is like a Pang Rock. It's like an old town. As you can see, all the street and all of the building. It's a bit like an old building. But anyway, we have some like a, a highlight or like an iconic for this area also. The State Tower or the Le Bourg Hotel. But nowadays, people call Hangover Beauty because this come from the movie. Okay, let's check it out for this area. The Bang Rock area is like an old community area, one of the old community of the Bangkok city. Because this area, if you see the Jaren Bung Main Road, this area, this main road is like the first main roads of Thailand that we use the new technology from the European to make a, make a main street. And if you see along of this street, See many many of the old buildings and now we are at the Muslim restaurant it's one of the old restaurants on this area also it's more than 70 years for this job and we will, we will check it out inside for the food yummy and every day they're gonna display all of the food like this this one is uh, the, the most popular one the masaman, the chicken masaman, and one more popular here also, mataba. They have like a chicken and beef. But by the way, for the Muslim people, they didn't eat uh, the meat, uh, no, the the pork. So that's the reason why, basically, of the meat here, yeah, like a chicken, pro, uh, meat, or maybe fish. And this this restaurant open every day. And if you see the people in the shop, not only the Muslim people, across this area, there are many, many people like the Chinese people and the Muslim people also. And some come of the, the Chinese people who live here also for breakfast. For the Muslim uh, restaurant, they they didn't serve about the alcohol, and they will have like a the sign, no app, no cannot bring the alcohol to this restaurant. If you come here, no beer. You drink beer outside and enjoy with the yummy food here. And here's somebody come, and she's the the owner of this restaurant. And if uh, her name is, her name is Mani. It's like uh, the third generation. Uh, the second generation of this of this restaurant. I love Kun Kun even And the the picture, the owner, the first generation of this restaurant, Mr. Mani. Uh, Seventy-seven years for this restaurant. Some do some some someday. And love fun to let me have it. She said that many many people know this restaurant. Sometimes like a tourist, but basically like a, the local people that know this restaurant as well. Okay, and now we are here at the, the kitchens of the Muslim restaurant, and we see how they're cooking. And so they have many many food, like the Muslim food. This is the first restaurant in They start. Uh, they open the shop, open the restaurant six six thirty in the morning. And they start uh, cooking but in the morning. Not only the Muslim people here because if you will see this area, this gate is like a temple gate. It's like a temple gate of the Wat Muang Care that we that, that lead us to the temple inside. But before we go inside, we can see the best noodle. The beef noodle here. They sell about 40 years. Very oh smell. Very nice. 
เดย์เซลอันนี้เปิดตั้งแต่กี่โมงนะครับสวัสดีครับเปิดตั้งสิบโมงครับฮะสิบโมงอันนี้ open the shop อ่า ten o'clock in the morning สามโมงครึ่งอ่า and and they close the shop about three pm แล้วก็มีแต่เนื้อใช่ไหมครับเดียวครับ so only the beef because in because next area next corner near the near 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 the temple near the Wat Muang Phan temple they have like a The Muslim community, and sometimes the Muslim people like to this, um, like to come enjoy this noodle also. And one of the the most popular the restaurant, the Thai restaurant, huh? this one, Harmony. The way to the Wat Muang Khe. I will show you how nice for this restaurant. And this is the owners of this restaurant. This girl, uh, this lady, and she. And she opened for for about 20 years for this restaurant, and very popular because they have the Muslim community. 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 They have The bandan tree that holds all of the fingers. Very nice architect and very nice decoration. If you have no idea for dinner, I recommend this uh, this restaurant. Okay, and not only the Muslim food because in the area it's like a multicultural that we have many many kinds of people like the Thai people, Chinese people, and foreigner also. And then we're gonna see what they cook it. Thai noodles, so fancy. And uh, this one is very famous for the Thai Chinese. They call the yen tofu soup. It's gonna see like a, the red salt here. It's made from the the soy bean. A bit of spicy and sour. That we call the yen tofu soup. One more signature of this area, yeah. The steam rice with the ducks on top, and they gonna use, uh, they're gonna put some gravy on top. It's very nice. And the Chinese style, they say poiki. It's like a, a Chinese style dessert, like a jelly, the herb jelly, red bean. You can you can mix anything, and then they're gonna put some syrup and ice on top. Yeah, like a flat one, the yellow one. Basically, for the yellow one, they make from the uh, they add some the egg inside, and the glass noodle like this. And this one uh, called a uh, kiam e. It's like a warm. <laughs> you can see this way. It's like an insect. And on the hidden corner of this area, of the Bangrat area, you will see some house that's very nice. But all of this house is quite like the old house. Some of the house more than 60 years ago. And some of the house they just renovated like this. But basically the people here on this area is like a Thai Chinese. 
as you will see the little shrine in front of the street. Actually, here it's like a private, uh, <coughs> a private street. street. Okay, and now we are at the uh, Wong Wo. Wong Wo. So it's like uh, the Chinese stuff, but actually we have many, many things in here. The owner of this of this shop. And the only thing this is the fourth generation of this store. My ancestor came from the mainland. From Fang Chao. Fang Chao. So this shop is this have. Our variety of product from Mr. Quang Chao uh -huh. goods. Ah. Which is the popular one? The herb green, herbal green. Right? Herbal green is also one of the most popular green. Uh -huh. Especially in Thailand. My ancestor came from the mainland. They also started to sell uh -huh. the Chinese herbal green. So this means 80 years here, right? From now on, it actually it is more than 80 years. Ah. Our shop is open, has open more than 100 years, but mm -hmm. we start to sell the Chinese herbal thing approximately 80 years ago. Ah. And we have like a two star, like, like a cup like this? How much is it? Egg bar. Egg bar, ah. yes. The drink like this, egg bar, and the bottle, how much is it? Uh, 20 bar. It's a herb thing, drink, and actually you can see like um, the Chinese stuff like this seem like a Chinatown area. They have like a dry food for the soup, like a Chinese style sausage, but this one is a bit sweet. And also have some like uh, the mushroom, the shiitake, and the watermelon seed. This one is very popular for the Chinese people, Thai or Thai Chinese also, to eat like snack. And this one preserved egg, the, the salty egg that they preserve. Chamanic egg, the preserved egg. 